Hey guys, so today's video is going to be on these sparkly gold eyes. If you want, you can wear this like every day or you can wear it for the holidays coming up. So let's just get right into it. I'm taking my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, as always, big surprise, right? And dotting this all around my face. I like to dot it around first and then blend it out with a brush. And I'm just using a Sheeny Cosmetics brush to blend that out. Now I'm taking my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer and I'm just putting that underneath my eyes and then blending it out with a smaller brush. And taking my NYX Cosmetics HD Photogenic Concealer, just dotting that around the highest points of my face, like my cheekbones, down my nose, on my forehead, on my chin, and just blending it out with the same foundation brush that I used before. And now I'm just filling in my brows with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Auburn. I am just going for a more natural brow today, just kind of doing little flicking motions, not drawing really harsh lines, and just doing the little flicking motions to kind of mimic the hair growth. And I'm not exaggerating the arch too much, just kind of filling in my natural brow shape just to make it darker and match my hair color. So now, I'm taking my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot, which is what I always use to prime my lids before I put on eyeshadow. If you want, you can just use concealer and that'll work just as fine. And I'm just making sure I get this all over the lid. Now I am taking this eyeshadow base called Submissive by Be A Bombshell Cosmetics. And I'm just putting this all over the lid and a little bit underneath as well because I'm going to be putting this half-baked eyeshadow right over that area. And I'm just kind of patting it all over that area just to make sure that it's going to stick better and not fall out as much. So just patting it on back and forth and kind of adding more on as I go to make it more opaque. And now I'm just bringing that underneath my lower lash line, not all the way across, but just in the center and then blending it out a little bit. Now taking Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek Cosmetics, I'm taking that on a fluffier brush and I'm just going to go ahead and put that in the crease and just blend it out for a really long time until it's diffused. Now I'm taking Mocha by Makeup Geek and I'm just going to take that on a tiny little pencil brush and put that in the outer V of my eyes just to kind of darken up that outer half of my eyes and to add more depth. So I'm just placing that in the area that I want and blending it in to about the outer third of my eye and then I'm taking that underneath my lower lash line as well but not too far in. So as you can see, I'm just using patting motions, not necessarily like sweeping it across my eye, but just patting it so the color stays better. So once I have that V shape that I like, I'm going to take that blending brush that I used with the peach smoothie in the crease and just blend that out even more so that the two shadows kind of blend together. I'm also taking that underneath the lower lash line and blending those in together as well. And now I'm taking Shimma Shimma from Makeup Geek, which is a nice highlight, and I'm just taking that on that same brush after I cleaned it off a little bit and just placing that on the inner corners of my eyes. If you want, you guys can put this on your brow bone as well, but I just didn't feel like it. So now I'm taking my Maybelline Gel Liner, 
and a brush that I got from Michaels, just a tiny little angled paintbrush actually. And I'm just doing a winged liner, and this was kind of hard to do gel liner over top of the half-baked from the Naked palette, just because I kind of had to build up the layers a little bit to make it more opaque, but just took a little bit longer than usual, but it's fine. No big deal. After that, I'm just applying some mascara. I'm just going to do one coat of mascara. And of course on the bottom lashes as well. And before I apply my falsies, I'm going to take my contour kit and just taking the fawn shade and a small brush and just putting that underneath my cheekbones and blending it up. Now I'm taking a bigger fluffy brush without putting any more product on it and just blending that color out and up to my forehead and then I'm adding a little bit more of that shade to the temples and blending it out and then underneath my jawbone. Now I'm taking the banana shade from the contour kit and just taking that on a fluffy stippling type brush and putting that underneath my eyes to set my concealer. Now I'm taking my iMimo Cosmetics eyelashes in NTR40. These are just super pretty long kind of fairy-like eyelashes. Now taking my Milani Rose Doro blush. Hope I'm saying that right. Anyways, just applying that on my cheeks and blending it out into my contour. Now just to conceal that lash band, I'm taking liquid eyeliner and just placing that right over the top of it to hide the glue. So now I'm taking my NYX Peekaboo Natural Lip Liner, which is my favorite just natural everyday lip liner, and just outlining my lips and making sure that they have a nice shape. Now I'm taking my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Stockholm, which is my new favorite, and I'm just applying that over the top of that lip liner. Okay, here's the deal. I know you're not supposed to wear highlight in the winter, but I love highlight, so I'm not gonna not wear it. And I'm just taking my Mary Luminizer by the Balm, and I'm just applying that right above the blush. And that's it for the look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to leave me any suggestions on other looks if you want more holiday looks or whatever you guys want to see in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later.